Good County Sheriff's investigators are looking for a murderer who shot and killed a father of two five years ago in Macon. One lieutenant tells me the answers to the questions in this Middle Georgia cold case lay with someone in the Bellevue neighborhood. It is time for them to come forward. He had promise, they said. He was in a bad seat. He seemed to be a young man that, you know, didn't get in much trouble. He wanted to make his life better for his family. He was probably months away from moving to Missouri with his father just to get out of the making element, you know, create a new life for himself and his family. Lieutenant Shermaine Jones is talking about what happened to 21-year-old Wendell Ford Jr., a father of two and a local rap artist. People of interest are wanted for questioning in the shooting death of 21-year-old Wendell Ford. That happened back in August. Ford, who went by the nickname Dub, was with his friend Travis Cherry here on Forest Avenue West in the Bellevue neighborhood. They had been hanging out that day, went out to eat, you know, just catching up. And uh, Terry says he stepped outside for a few minutes to get some air. Guys walked up on him. But who were these guys? Jones, who was with the then Macon Police Department, says Terry was ambushed by the two men. Another guy rushed into the apartment. While Wendell was inside. He was shot, actually, and it was a robbery, I believe, gone bad. Terry says when he gets up, he looks over and, and Wendell's laying on the ground. He didn't know that Wendell had gotten shot at first, but until he turned around and saw him laying there on the ground. Wendell was dead. The suspects ran away, leaving only a shell casing from a small caliber handgun. Within minutes, neighbors and people who lived nearby were at the scene. When police officers got there, uh, of course, the neighborhood was flooded with people. However, and I hate to say it this way, it's a, a common story. Everybody was there and nobody saw nothing. Lieutenant Jones says Wendell actually had something to do that night. He was scheduled to perform at a concert, but he never made it. People know things. We know they know things. That there's several people that I've spoken with that's kind of alluded to having information. But for whatever reason, they're afraid to come forward with the full facts of what happened. A don't snitch mentality, Lieutenant Jones says, needs to end. We had several people come forward so they heard the shots. When they heard the shots, of course, they naturally paused to make sure it wasn't coming their direction. And then they went over to figure out what was going on. For years, the case has sat on Jones' desk, him being unable to give up. One tip, one person coming forth can change the entire dynamics of this case. Help so desperately needed to find a killer of a young man whose life was cut short. It's just a, a troubled story. They got two small children that's been raised now without a father. And somebody in the neighborhood knows what happened. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward for up to $10,000 in this case. If you know who killed Wendell Ford, call the Bibb County Sheriff's Office at 751 7500. If you'd like to see other unsolved cases, visit 41NBC.com slash cold cases.